Now, Curly is another important figure that plays a key role in Steinbeck's Of Mice and Men. Therefore, you do need to remember key quotations relating to his character. Now, of course, we know Curly is the boss's son. So the first quotation, of course, shows how he lives in his father's shadow. The description of how, like the boss, he wore high-heeled boots. Now, this is the first quotation to remember and the word level analysis that you want to focus on, which illustrate just how he lives in his father's shadow, but he almost tries to artificially get his father's authority is the alliteration of H, high and healed. And again, firstly, this emphasizes just how short his stature is. He's a short man, he's insecure, but equally he relies on very artificial things. He doesn't really rely on real achievements. He relies on very quick artificial things to try and gain respect from the other men on the ranch. He also relies on quickly marrying a woman that looks pretty as a way to also gain respect. But again, all of this stuff seems very hollow and very superficial because all the other men realize that beneath that veneer, beneath that facade, there really isn't anything that they should respect about Curly. The second quotation to remember for Curly's character is when uh, the men, so George and Lenny, are told about Curly, he hates big guys. And the alliteration here, in terms of the word level analysis, is H, he and hates. And of course, you want to focus in terms of word level analysis also on the adjective big guys. And of course, what this illustrates is that Curly, not only is he short, he has, he has got what we would call a Napoleonic complex. Now, this complex is named after Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. So this is the French leader. He was a very short man who had lots and lots of achievements. Now, what the Napoleonic complex really points to is historic figures and kind of the tendencies of shorter people, so smaller people, who feel very insecure about their stature, maybe about their appearance, and they try to make up in achievement, in power, what they lack in height. So of course, a lot of people have theorized that someone, for example, like Napoleon Bonaparte, because he wasn't very tall, he was about five foot five, which isn't very short, but obviously in comparison to maybe six foot tall men, he therefore made up in lots of achievements what he lacked in height. Now, of course, in Curly's case, he, this is illustrating that same Napoleonic complex that he has. He looks at people like Lenny as men who perhaps take away from him in terms of comparing himself in stature. So he tries to make up in his achievements, for example, with boxing, what he lacks in height. And of course, what this illustrates is just how deeply insecure Curly is. The third quotation to remember for Curly's character is when he's constantly looking for his wife. So this is his newly married wife, but she never, she somehow seems to elude him. And he goes around and he asks, you seen a girl around here? Now the word level analysis you want to do here is the diminutive noun girl. Here she's, he's married a woman, but he still sees her as a possession, part of his property, as a girl, and as a girl that needs to control him, okay? And of course this illustrates just how controlling Curly can be, but also how emotionally distant the relationship is. Really to some degree, it's partly Curly's fault that Curly's wife ended up dying because in her loneliness she was driven away from him. She sought attention in other men and ultimately she sought attention in Lenny who ultimately ended up killing her accidentally, okay? Now the other quotation to remember for Curly's character is when it describes how once he tries to pick a fight with Lenny because he thought he was going to win the fight but Lenny crushes his hand so Lenny has Curly's hand in his grip and the simile Curly was flopping like a fish is really powerful in illustrating the sheer force of Lenny in contrast to Curly who really is a bully and he basically gets what's coming to him and of course as I mentioned the word level analysis you want to illustrate here is the simile and the final quotation to remember for Curly's character is once he of course realizes his wife has died it's still really about him his rage is about him. It's still very much focused on his honour. He now needs to go and find Lenny to kill him to protect his honour. He seems less concerned that his wife was killed. He's, he seems less concerned in terms of seeking vengeance because Curly's wife, her life was taken unfairly. This is shown in the quotation, he worked himself into a fury. And the word level analysis you want to do to show that really it's still, when they're going to hunt for Lenny, it's still very much about Curly, is the pronouns, the repetition, or rather the pronouns which are shown, he and himself. He's 
getting, so Curly is getting himself into a rage. It's all about avenging his own sense of embarrassment. It's not about, you know, um, killing Lenny in order to avenge Curly's wife. It's more still about him. And of course, what this illustrates is also just how selfish and dislikable Curly really is. So of course, he's one of the major antagonists in this story and all of these quotations, of course, you want to always remember the word level analysis and how this illustrates him as being such an antagonistic force in what is a very predatory Darwinian environment. Thank you so much for listening.